I would like to tell a story from my life real quick. Back in 1994, I was attending summer camp with a bunch of my friends, one of which was Tim Sater. Our brothers were also there, but I'm pretty sure they were in a separate cabin. Anyways, I had this little cassette Walkman at the time, and I had headphones for it, but also a really small set of speakers that would plug into it. So I showed up at summer camp with this cassette player, and a grand total of one cassette that I listened to over and over that entire week of camp, and probably the entire summer. Counting Crows, album August and everything after. I drove Tim and everyone else crazy listening to that thing, and obviously I had every single word memorized. For years we looked back and always joked about that cassette and how much I listened to it. Yesterday I actually had it on my mind, and so I tracked down the songs online and listened to it. And wouldn't you know it, I still knew every single word. The timing and tempo, every song from the very beginning notes. I can't help but imagine that maybe, had those song lyrics not been up there in my mind, maybe something more beneficial could have stayed with me all those years. That got me thinking even farther, knowing the torch was coming up today. Before I share a short scripture, I don't want anyone to think I'm saying we shouldn't listen to awesome music like that album, which is still one of my favorites of all time. Just bear with me. The things that are really important and enjoyable we invest time in. I spent hours upon hours listening to that cassette, which is how I learned every single part of it. I enjoyed it, and that knowledge is still there for me to dip back into whenever I hear one of those songs starting up. How amazing would it be if all of us could remember our favorite scriptures and gospel stories with such exactness? What if we just caught the first couple words of it could recite the remainder? So again... I'm not saying there's anything wrong with loving your favorite album, unless it's a boy band or something. <laughs> I'm just playing. But seriously, listen, I'm just saying that as we learn to treasure the scriptures with that same excitement and that same eagerness, we will be able to recall the gospel principles that we learn from them more readily. I'm working on it myself. I'd love to be able to recite more scriptures exactly rather than paraphrase them. I'd love to be able to hear someone mention a verse or a Bible story and go, oh yeah, that's in such and such chapter of this book. It's something to aspire to. No matter where on the scale you are with regards to scriptural knowledge, there's room for improvement. There's room for more excitement and determination. I'm not saying to stop enjoying everything else and only read the scriptures. I'm just suggesting make the things of eternal consequence more of a priority and that we treasure them more. Because for where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. So to everyone who is reading or listening to these words, let's get to it. Let's all strive to put more of the gospel and more verses of scripture into our minds. Let us feast on those words in a similar fashion to how we jam out on our favorite music or binge watch our favorite shows. Let's make our Father in heaven and Jesus Christ more of a central part of our lives and the lives of our families. Let's make sure our hearts are set on the things that really and truly matter the most. I share these thoughts with you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.